Hello, in this AWS security, we will be doing this knowledge check. So, we will start from module 2. Uh, so, knowledge check. Every knowledge check contains about 10 questions where we need to get at least 70 percent. And uh, these uh, knowledge check uh, are very good for your exam preparation also, especially when you are preparing for security speciality. You need to get at least 70 percent and you can attempt any unlimited times this particular test. So, the first question, what is the benefit of Elasticity in the cloud? So, you can say create systems that scale to the required capacity based on changes in, in demand. Yes, that is the correct answer. What is the pricing model that AWS customers can use to pay for resources on on an uh, as needed basis that is uh, pay as you go right the third one what is one method that a company could use to ensure high availability during a security attack i can say this is uh, automatic scale okay the fourth one which security principle addresses monitoring alerting and auditing actions and changes to the env environment in real time so this is uh, enable traceability okay the fifth one what's the best practice for an automation that can assist with providing a reliable and repeatable secure infrastructure so this is implement infrastructure as a code which is like cloud formation sixth which options are characteristics of the principles of least privilege? Select two. One should be grant access only as needed. And the second one should be enforce the separation of duties. Yes, this is correct. The seventh one. Which options are security principles that are based on the security pillar of AWS well architected framework? So you can say prepare for security events. And also protect data in transit and data at rest and automate security best practices okay the eighth one security and compliance are shared responsibilities between aws and the customer what is an aws responsibility so out of the options patching network infrastructure is aws responsibility okay the ninth one, what are customer security responsibilities according to AWS shared responsibility model that is customer security responsibilities. This is, uh, you can say that two, managing account cred credentials and policies, yes, and also managing customers data, this should be the right answers, okay. The last one of module 2 question who is responsible to operate manage and control security of the cloud according to the aws shared responsibility model so obviously this is aws okay this is correct so we have completed module 2 with 100 percent okay so we will again meet in module 3 thank you